DIY for. And I thought I would do Valentine's theme this week, considering it is coming up next week. Now, I've done these videos in the past, a couple of other DIY Valentine's gift ideas will be linked down below, like the bacon roses that I made last year. They were delicious. Uh, but I'm gonna do a couple of other ideas today for you as well. I don't go above and beyond for Valentine's Day. I don't think you need to, so a nice little DIY gift is special. Even if you just wanna do a DIY card for somebody, I think it's a great idea. So I'm actually going to do both of those today. Small DIY gift is going to give you lots of date night options in the future, which are always a struggle to kind of think of what to do constantly instead of just going to the movies and dinner. I'm going to try and give you some creative ideas. Plus, I'm testing out a Pinterest DIY that I saw and I'll let you know how well it worked at the end of the video. So I'm making a date night ideas box and I'm actually using a piggy bank that I found at the dollar store for this. I love that it has the slit in the top so we can continually add to it and the fact that it had glass here so we can make it uh, pretty on the back of it. So I'm scratching this piece off. Luckily I was able to get that off of the glass very carefully and now I'm just repainting this box because I hate this pink and it does not go with my decor. So white on the inside and then I taped off any holes and all of the glass and spray painted it green much better. So the back of this was this dog. I'm replacing it with a few photos of my boyfriend and I on some dates that we've already gone on and I added a graphic of future date nights. You can use whatever image you like or even just some words. I taped it on the back and then basically you put it together. Now we just have to fill it so I'm using some uh, coffee sticks. Uh, you can also use you know popsicle sticks whatever fits in your box and then just think of ideas. Things that you've never done before. Uh, uh, snowshoeing is something I'd like to try. Winter activities here in Canada like skating and uh, skiing are very popular right now. So get outside and do something. You can stay inside as well. Go be a kid again. Maybe make a pillow fort and watch a movie inside of it. Or you could also try a new recipe. Head over to your local farmer's market and pick something up. Live music is always one of my favorites and it is great to get out to uh, maybe possibly some local open mic nights and maybe you can be brave enough to get up on your own. If you have some extra ideas, feel free to leave that below. As for the card that I'm making, this is fun. Uh, an idea to make a scratch off kind of card, kind of like a lottery ticket. So basically I just have a piece of paper here. I've written two messages on and uh, you know, you can make them whatever you like. Breakfast in bed, a back massage, and then you're going to cover that with wax. So I'm just using an old candle here. Uh, a white crayon would work as well. You would need to have it be clear so you can read the message through and this is going to protect your message. The mixture that I found online is one part dish soap, one part acrylic paint, and then you mix it together. So as you can see, it's very thin and I can still read all of my words. It is going to take about three to five coats to completely cover this and you do need to let it dry. So it does take a while to put these together, but this is what it looked like when I was all done. It is dry to the touch if you were wondering. So I'm gluing this into my simple little card that I've made and then um, make sure you write to scratch it off. We'll test it in a few moments. So let's test my little card out. I'm gonna scratch. Oh my gosh! It's working! This is so cool. Ah! How cool is that? So that's a nice little cheap gift that you can give to somebody but means a lot because you DIY'd it. I love the date night box. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. If you put it somewhere that's visible, that means not just one person has to come up with the ideas. You both can constantly keep adding when you think of an idea, pop it in the box and open it up whenever you need a fresh date night idea. P.S. If you have some great date night ideas, I would love for you to leave them down in the comments below so we can kind of collaborate here and help each other out. As for the card, very happy with how well it actually worked. I was a little leery, to be honest, going into this DIY. I thought, how could that possibly work? But it was not bad. So let me know what you thought of these DIYs. Give the video a like 
and uh, if you try out the DIYs for yourself I'd love to see some photos of them so send them to me on snapchat or no that is not send them to me on Instagram or on Twitter at Janelle Steepers where you can tag me and uh, don't forget to subscribe I will be back next Wednesday with a new DIY cheers <laughs>